Alright guys, so, I got some really good news, some really bad news. Very sad day, very bittersweet. Good news, you see this right here. This is Alpha Scans. We just finally got an amazing demo that we just got released from our software development team. Finally, our charting is working smooth like butter. Uh, this platform is going to be amazing, guys. Alpha Scans over here. We got Alpha Scans over there. So we're finally seeing some good things going on here with Alpha Scans. Second piece of bad news. I lost $786 today. So... What can you do? Actually, I got three pieces of bad news. I got a lot of bad news. Shit. Wait. Alpha Skins is good news. Losing was bad news. This is another piece of bad news. I got a fucking zit in my forehead. Or my eyeball. What the hell? 32 years old. I'm still getting pimples on my face. That's stupid. Okay, so. Here is the final worst piece of news. You guys. I'm not excited about this at all. Very sad day. I'm going to sell the coolest thing I've ever owned. And, uh. A lot of... Big changes coming up um, that I'm not going to tell you right now, but uh, that's why I'm selling this because uh, it's just not practical for what uh, is coming up here. So, <sighs> my Camaro's for sale, guys. It's on eBay. Current bid is at $26,000. I got a buddy coming here that I'm friends with that lives in San Diego coming to look at it. Uh, so, I'm going to go show it to him in the next uh, hour or two, but look how sexy she is. I can't believe she's leaving. Oh my gosh. And as well, look at this. My Range Rover is for sale too. Who wants to buy it? Poor baby Range Rover is going. In addition, my boat's for sale. It's in Corona, guys. 75 G's, 2015 Tiger Z3. So I got a lot of changes coming up here, guys. Clearing house, getting rid of everything. <laughs> so much uh, changes coming on this year. Uh, I can't wait to tell you guys all about it. But, um,. I'm going to go clean my car right now and get it ready for uh, my friend to come take a look. And uh, super pumped about Alpha Scans. We just got this demo today. I was really butthurt about this freaking pimple on my face. What the fuck is this? Shit. All right, guys. I'll see you in a second. Y'all ready for this? Y'all ready for this shit? It's what you call manpower. I mean... I guess you could call it a lot of things. I guess horsepower would be uh, a little bit more fitting, you know? chick magnet, but I have to fend out more dudes and girls. Literally when I'm driving down the street, this is what it's like. Some other dudes. I want to show you guys something real quick. Check this out. See these lines? It's from me about a year ago. Watch this. <laughs> I want to tell you guys a little bit more about the vehicle. If you don't know what this is, this is a 68 Camaro. As you can see, my license plate says six Foos 68. A lot of people mistake it to be associated with Chip Foos, of which I have no relation to. It's completely spelled different. But uh, anyways, guys, bittersweet day. Or it's not quite yet. It's not for sale. Or it's not officially sold, but it's going to be sold here. Uh, so I just wanted to show you guys a little bit more about the car. Um, as you can see, it's completely blacked out. Uh, just a really unique look uh, all the way around. 
Uh, these are RSV forged wheels, you guys. Uh, these are excellent looking wheels. These were not on the car when I first bought it. They also got the Willwood full disc brake kit. This was $10,000 for this combination here to be purchased and installed in the car. You can see this car rides really low. So if you're buying it, you got to understand that this thing rides really low to the ground. You definitely got to be cautious of speed bumps. Uh, you know, this is a custom front lip spoiler that I put on here. This made out of carbon fiber. It's real carbon fiber. You can see we got the hot shoes suspended. You can see how low it is to the ground. Uh, so it's a low riding whip, but uh, this thing looks just like a badass mother F. You can see we got these custom halo lights here uh, that look really, really cool along with the um, eyelids down here. These are daytime running. I'll show you guys what it looks like. Um, when they're actually running, it's just a really, really cool look. This is a resto mod, guys. This isn't an original car, okay? This is a rebuilt with modern parts. That's what a resto mod stands for. It's restored modern car, basically, is what it stands for. Uh, fully tinted out. Also got these GTS carbon fiber mirrors. Real carbon fiber there. <coughs> so just, again, trying to get full carbon here. I was going to get the... The rear spoiler uh, carbon fiber as well. It's just I'm done spending money on this thing. Uh, I bought it for $33,000. If you guys are wondering, um, about a year and a half, two years ago, and I've put about $25,000 into it since I purchased it. So I'm hoping to get $40,000 uh, for it. Uh, that would be great. Um, just give you the the rear view of the vehicle this thing just looks like a beast uh, when you look at it from behind it's got a custom uh, I just put this in just a little custom uh, gas cap here we also have the actual rear view camera installed so this is installed and you can actually see what you're doing when you reverse and see you know now back up anybody you can see the rear wheels we got 19 by 10s in the back and 18 by 8s up front so again full wheel with disc brakes uh, <laughs> with slotted rotors there so just a really cool look definitely gives it a lot more aggressive and modern look on this car coming around the other side just give you guys some more views here full range of how beastly this you can see this this uh, looks really cool it rides really low so just a great looking car I can't believe I'm selling it this is definitely the coolest thing I've ever owned out of all the cars I've owned this is by far my favorite vehicle I've ever owned. This thing is just a beast. All right, guys, I just want to show you the interior of the vehicle here. We just got the uh, steer black Camaro kit here. <laughs> see the inside. We got the nice custom SS steering wheel. You can see we got the uh, <clears throat> Dakota Digital carbon fiber gauges installed. Nice little back seat area. Headliner still in great condition. You know, the only thing left I was gonna do on this thing was uh, replace these seats and interior. Get something a little bit more rock modern uh, installed in here. You know, this is still just the full on classic look. I wanted to kind of match, you know, the resto mod theme of the car. Also got carbon fiber uh, side plates here by Fisher. Uh, but we'll start this puppy up for y'all. See what this thing's all about. Woo! Just like that, huh? SS. You can see uh, the CD deck popping out here. Put it in reverse. I'll show you guys uh, connected here so you can see what's going on behind it. Great for uh, reversing. Uh, on a car like this, you don't really know how far that thing's sticking back, so definitely nice to uh, have that there. <laughs> but uh, fires right up. This thing just runs like a fucking champ, guys. I just want to show you guys the halo lights up front of the car, which is definitely kind of the coolest looking part of this thing. Those little bad boy halos right there, they're always on, so definitely a really cool look when you're just driving down the street. Definitely gives you a unique uh, stance when you're uh, driving in the daylight, especially at night if you still got these on and you're just running the halo lights, it definitely gives it a really cool and unique look as opposed to just uh, riding all black. Uh, the, the headlights here really give it a super cool and unique look uh, that's going to make you stand out uh, in the crowd. I, can't, I literally can't take this thing anywhere without somebody, you know, pulling me to the side saying, hey, what's under the hood or something? You know, it's almost uh, 
a nuisance. I'm not going to miss uh, having to talk about this car a million times a day uh, when I drive around, but it is by far the coolest car I've ever owned. Um, definitely a bittersweet thing to get rid of it. I really don't want to get rid of it, but uh, hey, all good things must come to an end and there's bigger and brighter things coming in my future uh, and this isn't going to be part of it. So uh, it's ready for a new home, guys. It's on eBay. Uh, go ahead and check out that listing. There's going to be a link below uh, if you guys want to go place your bid. Like I said, I bought it for 33. I've put 25 into it. I'm hoping to get at least 40k for it. Uh, this thing's a freaking beast. Uh, we still have to look at the engine. Oh my gosh! I just got a brand new, uh, brand new Chevy Performance 383 Stroker. This thing is brand new, guys. About less than a thousand miles put on it. Uh, I blew out the last engine, didn't really blow it out. We ran over an elevated manhole and uh, smashed the oil pan open and it just eventually turned into me getting a whole new engine. But uh, we'll check this, thing, uh, check this thing out. Chevy Performance. Fucking beast mode, dog. Woo! I like them apples. Oh, walk around. Look at this thing. I think it's so sick. You guys ready for this? I don't think you are. So here is the difference between driving a car like this and driving, say, a Maserati or something, which I used to have a uh, Gran Turismo. So driving a Gran Turismo around or any kind of exotic, you're going to get a lot of haters or a lot of hate looks. You're going to definitely get some admirers or people that think, you know, oh, hey, this car is awesome. But, you know, <laughs> I've just had situations where I was literally just sitting there in my Maz. And uh, just sipping my coffee, it was like 7 in the morning, and some guy drives by in a big-ass truck, and he just yells, Fuck it! And I'm just like... <sighs> really? <laughs> okay, but I, I get it. You know, if I... Uh, you know, the ultimate douchebag car is a Lamborghini. I love Lamborghinis. I think they're super sick, but would I ever own one? I don't think so. If I see someone driving down the street of it in a Lamborghini, I instantly am just thinking, this guy's a fucking douchebag. So, it's just... <laughs> I understand it. It's just... Uh, what people think when they see that kind of car driving down the street. Uh, Maserati a little bit less, you know, but if you see a Lambo driving the street, I think for the majority of people out there, they just instantly gravitate towards the word douchebag. <laughs> so I, I get it. You know, when you're driving a car like this, a 68 Camaro, this is an American classic. You know, it, it resonates a lot more with a lot of people. I've never had a bad comment about this car. Anytime I'm out driving it, I just, people are just, doing this all day long thumbs up thumbs up thumbs up thumbs up and i just had to be like yeah 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 you know basically it's like it's like the car is famous it's like a celebrity driving around and it's getting all this attention it can't go out anywhere without getting all this being bugged unfortunately i have to be its spokesperson so i have to you know get the rap of uh having to speak for it i don't exactly like having to talk to strangers all day you know it's every once in a while it's okay but when i have to i i've heard the words you know what's under the hood like about a million times now so uh it's definitely old so forewarning if you buy this car you have to have a lot of conversations with a lot of strangers uh and a lot of bums there's always like uh bums that are like you know this is like part of their era and they're like oh man this is this is amazing and then you got to talk to bums all the time so it's just <laughs> it's burdens that come along with uh owning this car but hey guys uh, i look forward to finding a new home somebody that's going to treat this thing like a baby like i have uh this is you know by far the coolest car i've ever owned and um 
I'm pretty sad about getting rid of it, but uh, all good things, like I said before, must come to an end, and I'm out of here, guys. Uh, who wants to buy it?